Hi, this is Joanne Hewins from lovetocreate.typepad.com. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be making a card that I kind of have in my head. I hope it's going to end up working okay. We'll see. I had done this card and had it on my blog recently, within the last week, I would say. And uh, it has a little fold that has designer paper. It comes out this way and then opens this way. And uh, I just had a lot of compliments and a lot of uh, queries about it. And I thought, well, I'll just make a, a video. I haven't done a video in a while. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to be using these papers for this. And I'm also going to use an old card that I made. Uh, I'm going to use the sunflower dies and make the sunflower uh, for the flower on my card. So I'm going to kind of take these two, mesh them together a little bit, and we'll see what we come up with. Uh, so to make this, I'm using the T Boutique Designer Series paper, and that is in your annual catalog, where you don't want to see the back, do you? On your annual catalog, uh, back on page 134 is where you would see this paper. And I have, uh, actually I only have part of a pack. Sorry, I'm moving my stuff around here. I only have part of a pack, but I'll share that with you quickly. Uh, this is one side and the other. You'll see one side has a printed area and the other side is just more of a, a filler look. So there's printed and your filler look there. And I'll just keep these in a port baggy uh, the six by six paper so let me just show you quickly uh, what we have here's the kind of background pieces and I might be a little weird the background is what I love so <laughs> more than the teacups so let me finish showing you this that made me think of snow and so here are the last two so there it's a really pretty pack of paper it's six by six and uh, uh, let me leave out what I'm gonna need so um, I cut a piece of this paper and it is four by four I'm just gonna write down some of these measurements so you need a D S P, that's designer series paper, four by four, and then you're going to fold on the diagonal. All right, so I've already got that done. I've measured it, folded it four by four, or folded it diagonal, I'm sorry. And uh, you are going to kind of watch the kind of paper you use. If you sew something, uh, use something with a direction and then you fold it over diagonally suddenly they're facing this way uh, so just be careful I have to kind of get something that it doesn't matter so much with that and I, this one is perfect for that and then I'm going to be using this piece uh, for our uh, flower so let me get those dies and show them to you. These are the sunflower dies and I don't have a card made. I'm just kind of doing this hoping that what's in my head will come out okay. So this piece has been cut with this die. Okay and um, I'm going to need two of those. I didn't, I cut out a couple things but I didn't cut out a lot. So let's go back and talk what else we need. We are going to have a base. In this case, it is crushed curry, but your base is going to be four and one fourth by five and one half. And that is the size of a regular A2 card, which is what we make. And then, we're going to have a piece of poppy parade that's what matches 
this paper. Isn't that pretty together? Of Poppy Parade. Uh, and this is going to be... Um, so this, I guess, would be called the insert. And the measurement for this is going to be five and one-fourth by eight. Now, this is a regular piece of eight and a half paper. Eight and a half. I just need eight. So I'm going to turn it this way where I've got eight and a half for one measurement. And we're going to measure that at five and a fourth. Okay. And we'll cut that. And then... I'm going to bring my cutting down because I want to score. We're going to, oh, first of all, we're going to cut off that half inch we don't need. And we'll move that out of the way. And we'll score this at four. So when we fold this, it's going to go together. Get my bone folder here for a minute. And this will be here. Actually, it's going to go back. It's going to kind of go backwards. And then this will go behind here. Behind here. And then this will go down, be glued down on the base. In fact, we can go ahead, I think, and do that part. We're going to have one more piece that we need. Since this is a uh, dark background, I didn't need it for this card. When it opened, I just used that same color. It was okay. Uh, but for this one, I'm going to need to have something uh, in here to write on. So this is going to be a measurement of, so this is for the inside. It's going to be um, three and three fourths, and that's going to be by five. Okay, so three and three fourths by five. So let me take some of this out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and adhere uh, the parts that we talked about. So we're going to have part of this that goes behind our insert. And remember, when you have it in there, it's going to actually look like it opens this way. Okay, so it's a little bit different, I think. So I'm going to put some glue here. And, well, I didn't check to make sure that would work. Let me stick uh, something down in there a pen and oops you want to make sure that you got the light with your glue well this one isn't going to want to come out at all let me change it with another oh, yeah there we go uh, you don't want to have your glue coming out of your seams so try not to be so heavy with that uh, and then this is going to go right in here with the fold. Okay, so right in there with the fold. That's going to push that down in the back. Let's hope that we didn't really come out. And I can see that I've gotten some glue right there. That's not going to be good. So, that's, we're going to take part of a paper towel and rub at that and then I'm going to just let that have a little bit of time to dry and I'll use a uh, rubber eraser to to get that off now we're going to go ahead and shut this and you're going to see that there are some pieces that stick out and we're just going to cut those off so that they are flush with the insert. So there we go, there. And then this is going to go on here. So I'm going to put my glue 
back here. I'm going to shut everything and just center that on my base. Now, notice I'm kind of holding mine from opposite corners. I find that is easier for me to use that uh, to get everything centered. That way I can use my glue so I have a little bit of moving space. Oops, let's open that so it... So there, we've gotten this done. That's the way that's going to look. I'm going to, okay. And we'll go ahead and work on our flower for this. So I'm gonna set this out of the way. Here's my flower. Now I have also cut out of crushed curry. Move some things out of the way, a base. So I cut this one from the crushed curry, and I cut this one from the designer paper here. And I'm going to need another one from the designer paper. Uh, I'll just put it in this corner. And I'm going to pull over my uh, machine and just do that where you can see. Now it may make things shake a bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so I've got for us to use the base. This is my uh, boss and cut machine, the base. And then today I'm going to be using the new uh, magnetic plate. This is heavy and uh, it's new and we had one before that was kind of a flop but I am really liking this one. So I'm going to put my paper in. I'm gonna put this over in the corner. It just doesn't seem to be wide enough to get one in each corner. And then we're going to need a clear plate. Let me get that. And we'll just run that through. I've noticed using this magnetic plate that I don't get, uh, well, I'm sorry that my cushion back there is sliding around. Uh, I don't get the bowed clear plate that I was getting so much uh, with this one. I really like that. So I'm going to take... Uh, I take your pick tool and just kind of pick that up. Uh, so now I've got the back. Well, let me pull out this back piece, and I've got two of these. And then I'm also going to cut from crumb cake the center of the flower. Let me just get this off. Now this is one of those self-healing, uh, and that's not coming off so easy. You saw how quickly though it came out of the paper, and I'm just going to kind of scrape, scrape that just a little bit and move it over here. I've got a trash can right under. I'm going to scrape it all in there. Uh, Hold on just a second. There you go. So we're going to put the uh, crumb cake and then I'm going to cut out this little center piece from there. So I don't think you need to see that so much so I'm just going to off screen cut that out. Okay, I'm going to need my take your pick tool again to kind of get that off. All right, so let's work on putting the flower 
together. And what I'm going to do first is take this base and I'm going to just crunch it up. Okay, and I might even do it again. And then we'll just kind of pull that out a little bit. Then I'm going to take these and do the same. Just going to crunch them up. Be careful pulling those out because you don't want to tear those little pieces. Okay, so now we're going to kind of put them together. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue just around that. And I don't really have to match those up. They will match up, but for this application, I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm just going to push down here. Just hold it for just a few seconds. And then we'll do the same thing for this one. A little bit. Pull that out and then we'll do the same. So they will not match up. I don't want them to match up. And then we can just kind of I think that's a pretty flower. And then we'll put this piece on the inside. There. Okay. So then this is going to go uh, in the, on the card. Kind of like that. And then we're going to add some leaves. If I go back to the uh, to the dies, and I don't know what I've done with my big circle here, but we don't need it right now. You'll see that there, there is a uh, detailed leaf and a solid leaf. And I have cut some of those out already out of the uh, the uh, parakeet party for that. So I think we'll add a couple of leaves, but what I'm going to do is add my flower first. Now I'm going to use dimensionals to put this down, and I want this piece to be able to slide down under. So I'm gonna put one dimensional there. I know, so it'll be, and then I'm just going to kind of decide, and I'm going to put one right in there, and then let me put that about where I had it before, yeah, and then I'm going to put one right in there. And as long as I keep that orientation, I should be fine. I'm going to add some other dimensionals. Uh, and we'll leave that. Let me get the tops off of those. Okay. So this is going to go... With that there, okay, let's hope that we've got that where it can be that way and then slip under. Yeah, so that will work. I'm just going to touch that up a little bit. Now, of course, that would get flattened, I guess, if you put it in an envelope, but it'll still be pretty like that on it. So let's figure out about our leaves. I'm thinking that I'm going to fold these up as well. And maybe add them with a glue dot 
down here together at the base of the leaf. And then I'm going to put another glue dot and we'll just add these up underneath this base. So we'll put one there and then we'll do the same with this one. What do you think? And do you think it's going to be all right? Okay, so there's one. That one's mainly folded instead of crunched up, but it'll be all right. And we'll crunch this one up a little bit. And we'll have to decide. I may have to cut another of these bases because I only had two of those. Uh, so we'll put our little blue dot here. And that there. And then another blue dot on top. And we'll put this one underneath the whole thing, kind of like there. And what do you think? If I crinkle that up a little bit and just have that one coming out, you think that would be okay? I think it would. So I'm going to add another glue dot to this piece. And we'll stick it, let it stick into my fingers. We'll stick it up and under this way. Hmm, I don't know, I don't like that. I'm going to cut uh, the solid leaf real quick. I've got just enough parakeet party to get that through. So let me go ahead. Okay, so here's, here's that. I'm going to crinkle it up just a little bit. And we'll put a glue dot on the end of that. And we're still okay. We'll just click, put that up and under there a little still okay all right do you like that okay the next thing that I want to do is put a saying on there you uh, might recall on this card that I had a little bit of a saying coming from the center I've got water on it you can see uh, but I'm going to try to do something like that and I'm going to use the words from this stamp set, uh, Swedish, ch Swedish Cherries uh, Birthday Wishes. So I've got that on my block. And I, what I have to decide now is do I want to put that on uh, Crush Curry or do I want to put it on white? So let me get a uh, bit of crushed curry. I thought I had a piece sitting here. Looks like we'll have to use this one. So I'm going to bring in Poppy Parade as my uh, color, and I'm just going to stamp that. Okay. I'll just do it right in there. I think I like that. Let's try it on the white, though. I've got a white scrap here. The white on there. You know what? I think I'm going to put the white. I just think it brightens it up just a little. So I'm going to bring in another set of dies to use with that. And I found my piece of crushed curry that I had. 
I'm going to use this piece. This is from the Stylish Shapes. And I'm going to let me close this. And I'm going to come over and cut this out uh, with these dies. So hold on just a moment. I think it's probably easier to just uh, do it off camera. I wanted you to see what that plate looked like though. I'm back and here's our little piece and what I'm going to do is just curl that a little bit with my bone off folder uh, and I might turn it over and curl that back up so it kind of has a look like that to it and we'll put it there and let the rest of that come over so let me use blue dots for that. I'm going to put one there and one over here because I want that to stay. So we'll put that there. And then let me just put another blue dot underneath here. That's cute. And so that's turning out kind of like I thought it was. A little, need something up there, don't we? We'll put something in a minute. Okay, so we still can get that in and out. And on this one, I had a little piece of um, linen thread on this one, I was just looking around trying to find something, and I found this. This was in the mini catalog, so it's still um, current, and it came in a two-pack, and it was on the same page as this Kite Delight, okay? So that's where I found this, and this is a Poppy Parade. So we're going to, I think, instead of just doing a knot, we'll try a bow, and if we don't like the bow, we'll come back to a knot. That's kind of how I roll sometimes. And of course, I use a bow maker. I can't, I can't do it without it. So let me tie around here. Oops, fiddle fingers today. Okay, so this is one way with the uh, I'm not feeling that so much. Maybe it needs to just be smaller. Let's try the knot. Let me just get a smaller piece. And we'll do a knot. That might be all we need. I'm going to cut that a little bit smaller on each side. And we'll do just another glue dot. And for this one, we're just going to roll it. Roll it up so that it's thin. And we'll just lay that right there on our card. Get some of this old paper away and then we'll just put this right in there. Yeah, I like the smaller. And then I can pull the uh, twine apart kind of like we did on that other one. Just using my take your pick tool and pulling pulling that apart. 
and I'm going to try to push part of that blue dot under there. Okay, what do you think? Let me pull some of this other stuff out of the way. And I think that we might be done with the uh, outside. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to put either some of the uh, brushed brass butterflies around or the hearts. These are the pearl hearts. And somehow with that white and all there, I just think the pearl hearts would be cute. And we'll put that up in that spot that needed a little something. Let me pull these down. And okay, I'm going to put one, I think, there. And we'll put a smaller one here. And I just might put them all up there where I feel like they're needed. So then we'll do another one. Actually, I'm just going to put it right there. So there it is. Uh, I think we kind of filled up that empty spot. And I think that's very pretty. I love it. Okay, so here's the mixture of this one and this one. We did a little bit of a mesh of the two, and uh, I think that's really, really cute. Uh, let's look at the inside of this card. And I had a piece of basic white. That was, again, three and three-fourths by five. But we're going to do our stamping first. And I've decided that I think I'm going to use the Swedish cherries for our uh, uh, notes on the inside. I'm going to be putting, wishing you a sweet day. So I thought about putting this on the... Uh, Stamparatus. I'm probably going to wish that I did, but we'll see how it all goes. Uh, and I'm going to do uh, this in Poppy Parade and Crushed Curry. So I'm going to do the uh, sweetest in the crushed in the uh, Poppy Parade. So I'm going to do Wishing You a. Okay. And then we want sweet. The sweet is what I'm worried about. Okay, it looks like I've got it inked pretty well. Wishing you a sweet. I'm going to try to leave that and let it soak up the ink. All right, I think that's good. And then we'll come back and do day. Wishing you a sweet day. There you go. So I think we're just about done. Uh, and I'll have a video on my blog post and the clock, uh, links for the blog post on my video. So we should be fine. Oh, and I forgot about this sticky right here. So let me get this and see if I can get that off. Hmm. I may need to work on that a little bit more after the video. You may not want to watch me do that. And that's about off. So let me put my glue on the back here. And I'm not remembering which glue was working. This one is. And then this will go right in here. 
like this. So there we go. Here's our card with the flower on there. And then we'll just push this up under there for the closure of our card. There we go. So this is the other one that I had with this closure. When I had this on my blog, I didn't have the color. I did go back and color in the, uh, the leaves with the light parakeet party and then the center with the dark daffodil delight and these little pieces and I think that uh, brought it a, a, a little bit more alive than it was in the blog post so there you go well thank you so very much for spending a little bit of time with me today I appreciate it a lot I uh, hope that I'm seeing now that uh, the paper did uh, move a bit. Uh, I hope you could see everything okay. If you need supplies, you can go to lovetocreate.typepad.com and there's a link there to my store. I would appreciate so much uh, your business. I would try to earn it from you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.